Hello everypony, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I organise my My Little Pony collection. Today I'm only going to be showing you how I organise my brushable pony collection though, because my blind bag ponies just stay in a little box. There are a few ponies you won't be seeing today because they're busy preparing for other videos, but most of them are on the shelves, so let's go and take a look. So here is my pride and joy, my display case, full of My Little Ponies. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at the middle shelf here, because this is the part I'm most proud of. It certainly looks the smartest. As for organising the ponies themselves, what I like to do is I like to kind of keep them in their separate sets. So as you can see, I've got pearly ponies all lined up there. I've got my main six girls all lined up with their pets in front of them. And the rest are pretty random, I must admit, but most of the time I do try to organise them by a rainbow. It looks a bit prettier that way, but a lot of the time I make so many videos that I don't really have the time to reorganise them that way. And as you can see, this is actually a display case on top of a chest of drawers. It's in my brother's room, hence the Lego. It usually has glass sliding doors in front of it, but I've taken those off so the glare doesn't obscure the view of the ponies. Now, of course, it originally did not come with these little steps within the shelves. My father made those for me, and I'll show you what they look like with the ponies off. Okay, there it is. It is super simple. It is just a little chunk of wood going all the way across from one end to the other. And then that's supported by one little chunk, kind of about the height of a pony here. And then there's the same height again with another stick here. They're not connected, they're just one in front of the other. They're not glued in or stapled or nailed or anything. They just stand up independently because they're pretty low to the ground, they're not too wobbly. This is just a standard width of wood from a DIY, and I think in America you'd call these shops a hardware store. So I definitely look at that. I'll let you know on screen the exact measurement. Originally we were going to stain this wood to get it to match the piece of furniture, but it really wasn't necessary because, as you can see here, you can't even see what colour it is anymore thanks to all the ponies covering it. This kind of wood isn't too expensive either, so if you have a parent who knows how to do this, then definitely ask them to help you out with it, or maybe you could try doing it yourself. I obviously wouldn't recommend it if you're a child, but if you are a grown-up collector like me, give it a go. It's a much easier way to store your ponies. As for buying pieces of furniture like this, this is secondhand from eBay, and I definitely recommend that for any furniture. Buying secondhand on eBay is a lot cheaper than going to a shop to buy expensive new furniture. And just as a side note, because I have so many ponies, it does help to style their hair so it doesn't get all tangled up and make a mess of your display. Also, what I like to do is, I like to have it so the Pegasus ponies don't stand right next to each other, because then you can fit more ponies in, because you can see here, the wing is kind of over the top of the Earth ponies here. You see what I mean? There's another Pegasus there. And then you can fit more ponies on, because if you had two wings next to each other, they wouldn't be able to get as close. And here's a look at the top shelf, which is not nearly as organised. I still need to make another wooden shelf for this one, but I'll tell you my current organisation method for this shelf. Royal ponies, I call them. And they are standing... Whoops! Well, they just fell to their doom. And they're standing on top of a little jewellery box to give them the extra height. Like I said, I would like to put them on a little wooden shelf, but this is a good solution for now. And over here, for the sea ponies to stand on top of, I have got a little bit of cardboard curled up into kind of a squarish shape, which is taped together. Now this is really not ideal. It's just to keep them up on something until I get that wooden shelf sorted out. But if you can't afford to get the wood or don't know what to do with it, then I definitely recommend just making it out of cardboard like this. It does the job fine, it just doesn't look quite as smart, that's all. And then on the end here, I've made use of the shell accessory Princess Sky Star came with. Anyway, before my display was ruined here, as you can see, I like to keep all my royal ponies together here. All the baby ponies together there, I've just taken a few away so you can see this. All the sea ponies over here. And then there's just a random power pony because she doesn't have anywhere else to go. And then down the bottom shelf here, we have just the random custom ponies and a few custom LPS. And there's some Lego because, like I said, this is actually my brother's room because my room is just not big enough for such a big display. So there it is. I'm really quite proud of how the collection looks. It'll look even better when I get that wooden shelf in the top one there. And then everything will be on the same level and it'll look really cute. The way I organise these ponies makes it really nice and easy to just take one out when I need them for filming. It's perfect for me because I make so many pony videos that it would be a real pain to keep them in a box and take them out from there. They'd get into a mess, I'd have to restyle them every time, so this is perfect for me. I know obviously I have a huge collection of ponies, but even if you have a smaller one, I'm pretty sure this advice could help you because you could still use the kind of mini shelves within shelves idea for a smaller collection as well. 
And then finally here is the display case with the glass back in it. This is what it looks like most of the time. Once again this is nice and easy because they just slide like that and you can take out the pony you need. I am sorry I can't tell you exactly where to buy this piece of furniture because it's an older one. You can't just go into an Ikea, for example, and buy the same thing. But like I said, check secondhand ones on eBay. I'm sure you'll be able to find something similar. It's pretty standard. And that's it for how I organise my ponies. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask in the comments and I will try to answer them. And of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching.